Technology and innovation are going to be the key drivers of business across the globe. Understanding this, one of Nigeria's leading financial institutions, Tambi Ibitis Holdings, hosted its 2015 leadership series. It brought together its customers and stakeholders in the financial market and wider space of the economy. In her opening remarks, the CEO of Stambik IBTC Holdings, Mrs. Shola Boha, described the series as a commitment of the bank to improving leadership and business direction for the great market of Nigeria and across Africa. This is the second in the business leadership series um, that we started last year. And the idea behind this series is really to provide a platform where we can engage, um, drive thought leadership in topical areas that we think is important for business. Uh, we're keen to push the African story. Um, Standard Bank, Stambic IBTC is an African-focused institution born and raised in Africa. And we believe that um, on this continent, we have entrepreneurs and business leaders that have a story to tell that will inspire us and help us as we all individually try and grow our businesses. Keynote speakers, Mr. Mitchell Elegbe, CEO of InterSwitch, and young dynamic African scientists from Mutata area in South Africa, Siabuela Tuzi shared how digitization and innovation is transforming Africa and will be the way to go for businesses and various solutions to the challenges in the continent. So what really is digitization and business sustainability? For a lot of people, it means incorporating email, websites, and social networks into marketing and communication efforts. Today, most people will tell you that they've got a Facebook page They've got a Twitter handle, and therefore they're into digitization. In terms of innovation, the question is how do we bring digitization into what we do? The point I'm trying to make is that if you look at this whole digital world, the opportunities are limitless. Just when you think you have found it, you suddenly realize that you have seen nothing. The big question on our minds, as we are confronted by falling commodity prices, and some of the fundamentals of our economies are being shaken, the very, very big question that every leader, every single leader seated in this room here today has to ask is, how do we move Africa forward? And to answer that question, I believe that we begin to move Africa forward through forward-thinking leadership. And to illustrate this point about forward-thinking leadership, I'd like to share with you my own personal journey of moving Africa forward through our forward-thinking leadership. But something profound strikes me. Something profound strikes me as I take this picture in Sweden, seated at the top, looking at all the kings and queens and innovators from all over the world. It strikes me that we, as Africans, are equally capable of global innovation and global excellence. Sia Abuela, Susie, and Mr. Michel Legbe shared further the dynamics of the businesses and what to expect from digitization and innovation. Innovation is absolutely powerful to transforming uh, the landscape of Africa because as we can see we can't rely on commodities alone to feel, to fuel our progress as Africans we need to come up with our own ideas and solve our own problems using innovation so it is fundamental to transforming Africa and a story like mine and a story like so many other young African innovators is only a testament of what is possible through innovation okay I think first is understand that consumer behavior is changing Consumers are leveraging more of mobile and web technologies. Uh, that is one. So you see what is happening with people using their phones and stuff uh, to make phone calls, to communicate, to interact, to chat and stuff like that. That is step one. Step two is recognize the fact that there's a lot of data out there that you can use to understand, better understand your customers so you can better provide more targeted and cost-effective solutions to them. Okay, that is very important. Three, recognize the fact that there are technologies out there that makes it very easy for you. Before, to start a small business of yours, you have to have your own servers, uh, desktop computers, printers, and the like. Today, with cloud, cloud computing, you don't have to do any of those. You can buy a small space on someone's server somewhere, and you can start your business. 
So there's quite a lot that can be done around digitization, okay? But people need to understand that you basically have to bring these three things together to be able to run a good digital business. For Mr. Yinkasani, the CEO of Stambik IBTC Bank, it was another opportunity for the bank to once again show the nexus between business, the financial markets, and issues of engaging key stakeholders to understand the directions of the economy. For us at Stambik IBTC, one of our key objectives is to introduce ideas uh, and have them discussed uh, and debated so that they could be improved uh, with the ultimate objective uh, of having them commercialized so that lives uh, and our various economies in Africa will be improved. So uh, we're very glad uh, at the turnout. We're glad to see uh, many of our customers. And most importantly, uh, we're glad that many of them found the ideas that have been exchanged um, very, very useful uh, from the feedback that we have been given. Well, another interesting leadership series hosted by Stambik IBCC, which focuses on digitization and sustainable business, we can expect that the changes to come will not take Nigeria and Africa unawares. It is a time to be inspired, all business leaders and stakeholders, to embrace the directions of technology.